City councilors say the main idea here is that if you're a Winooski resident, you pay taxes, own a home, your kids attend the public schools, then you should have the opportunity to weigh in on issues that affect your quality of life. Today here at the Winooski City Hall, this topic was discussed as well as its potential implications. Noah Miller loves living in Winooski for its diversity and progressive values. I think that value system is very welcoming to young families. It's the reason he moved here with his wife. My wife is uh, a citizen of Israel, a resident of Vermont. But she can't vote on issues affecting the city they live in. He's hoping that will change in November. As a taxpayer and as uh, an immigrant to the area and a contributing member of society, that everyone deserves to have a voice in what affects them on a daily basis, uh, especially if they're paying taxes. I mean, that seems pretty black and white to me personally. The city council held its first of a series of public meetings discussing a potential charter change that would give non-citizens the right to vote. The proposed amendment would allow a person to vote if they are a resident at least 18 years old and have taken the voters oath. Winooski is the most diverse community in Vermont and if we want to continue to be the inclusive and welcoming city that we describe as ourselves as being, it's important we make sure that everybody has a seat at the table with local decisions. Making. Some feel the issue just isn't that simple. You're going to crash this train if you're not careful. Winooski resident Robert Millar feels a vote in November would be forced. He thinks more time is needed to consider all of the potential implications. So you need to be uh, cognizant of what you're doing and how it can affect people. The discussions are far from over, but residents like Miller are hopeful voters will get on board with the idea. Seems like this should have happened a long time ago. Now, it's important to mention that this charter change would focus on local issues only. Non-citizens would still not be able to vote in federal and state elections. Uh, tonight's meeting focused on another of questions and topics, uh, including what the potential charter language could look like, whether the school district would need to sign off on the change, and would these residents be able to serve in city positions, among many other issues. Of course, nothing concrete was decided on at this point. Live in Winooski, Helena Batapaglia, NBC5 News.